to School of the Rock. I hope all of you had a really awesome Christmas with your family, even if it was a little different than Christmases you've had in the past. Now, I needed a little help from a friend this morning, so I brought my friend Byron along. We're going to be talking about compassion, and Byron is going to help me explain what compassion is. Now, imagine this basket full of Bibles is full of Byron's sadness and troubles. We're going to use the Bibles to represent his sadness and troubles. Now, this basket is very heavy and very full. That would be a lot of sadness and troubles for Byron to be carrying around on his own. Now, compassion is feeling someone else's pain in your own heart. It's taking some of a person's sadness in their heart and helping them to carry that sadness. If I had compassion on Byron, it would be like I was taking out some of these heavy Bibles and carrying them for him. It would lighten the load for Byron. And that's exactly what Jesus does for us, because Jesus is compassionate. Can you say that with me? Because that just happens to be our big idea for today. Jesus is compassionate. In our Bible story today, we're going to see Jesus' compassion towards a widow. Now, our story can be found in the book of Luke in chapter 7. And the Bible is the Word of God, and everything in the Bible is true. And God uses the Bible to speak to us, so let's listen carefully to what he has to say to us in our story found in Luke chapter 7. Jesus had been traveling around an area of Israel called Galilee, teaching and miraculously healing people. You'll remember how he healed the man with the withered hand. Well, Jesus and his disciples went to a little village called Nain. It was actually close to the town of Nazareth where Jesus grew up. A large crowd followed Jesus as he headed into the little village. As he approached the village gate, a man who had died was being carried out to be buried outside of the village. The man being carried out was the only son of a widow. A widow was a woman whose husband has died. Now this poor woman had not only lost her husband, but had also now lost her son. When Jesus saw her, his heart overflowed with compassion. Don't cry, he said to her. Then Jesus went over to the coffin the widow's son was being carried on, and he touched it. The coffins used in Jesus' day looked a little different than the ones used today. The men who were carrying the coffin stopped. Then Jesus said, Young man, I say to you, get up. To everyone's amazement, the young man came back to life. He sat up and started to talk. Jesus then gave the man back to his mother. The people were filled with wonder and praised God. A great prophet has appeared among us, they said. God has come to help his people. And the news about Jesus spread all through the whole country. This is an amazing story. Jesus brought the woman's son back from the dead. That's an even bigger miracle than when he healed the man's withered hand. And he brought the woman's son back to life because he had compassion for her. This poor woman had already lost so much. And because she was a widow in Jesus' day, that meant that she was likely poor if she had also lost her son. Because women didn't have a way to make money for themselves. So she lost her husband, her son, and her way to make money. That's a lot of sadness for one poor woman. When we see people facing difficult times, we often feel compassion. It makes our hearts hurt to see them hurting. And when Jesus felt compassion, he also showed compassion. He did something to help. He still shows his compassion to us today as well. Some of the ways he does this is by speaking to our hearts through the Bible when we're feeling really burdened. Or sometimes he might nudge another person to help provide for us when we're struggling with money. And because Jesus is compassionate, we can be compassionate. Now, we can't necessarily show compassion the way Jesus did. I mean, I've never brought anybody back from the dead. But there's lots of ways that we can show compassion. Think about some people that you know that are facing difficult times. Is there something you can do to help lighten their load? Maybe you have a neighbor who could use some help with some shoveling. Maybe you know a lonely senior that could use a little cheering up. You could make them some cookies. 
What about your teacher? Has your teacher been really tired lately and could use some help getting some things done around the classroom? There are lots of ways that we can show compassion and to help lighten someone's load when they're weighed down by troubles and sadness. And when we show compassion and not just feel compassion, we're following Jesus' example. Jesus is compassionate, so we can be compassionate. Let's take a look at today's memory verse and say it with me. Come to me, all you who are tired and are carrying heavy loads. I will give you rest. Matthew eleven twenty eight. Jesus is compassionate, and he wants to lighten your load when you're feeling like you're carrying a really heavy load. Bring it to Jesus in prayer, and he'll lighten it for you. And prayer is another way that we can show compassion for others by bringing their needs to Jesus. As we pray today, I'm going to pause and give you a chance to say the name of someone you know that could use a little compassion. Let's pray. Jesus, I thank you that you are compassionate and that you always are willing to help lighten our loads. We want to be like you, Jesus, and help to lighten the loads of others. So here are the names of people we know that could use some compassion. Jesus, I pray that you would help us also to know how to show compassion and that you would speak to our hearts so that we could be compassionate like you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So this week, I want you to be looking for ways that you can show compassion to others. You know, there's no better feeling than being used by God to help another person. Well, thanks for joining me and Byron this week at School of the Rock. And I hope you join me again next week. And remember, God loves you. And I do too. Bye now.